How'd you link up with um, Scooter and Future? Uh, me, and, me and Scooter, we grew up together, you know what I'm saying? Um, his mom, Miss Betty, um, people don't know that his mom went with Swamp Izzo, you know what I'm saying? And they, they had a family together. And um, they used to, he, I think that was back when Swamp was working at AutoZone. And me and Kyrie, we was best friends. That was um, Miss Betty's son, which is Scooter's brother. And um, I used to be with his brother, Heavy, Kyrie. And um, that had me and Scooter became friends, you know what I'm saying? And when he, see it, when he seen that I was doing music, and he was already doing music, you know what I'm saying? He down there OG and this shit to me, because I ain't number 23. So when he found out I was doing the music, he was 100% behind me, you know what I'm saying? And he gave me all he got, you know what I'm saying? It's dudes be around him every day, but I used everything that he was able to give me to my advantage, you know what I'm saying? A lot of dudes that be around him ain't got no song with Future, you know what I'm saying? But I used every tool that, that they threw at me, and I got it, you know what I'm saying? And I passed a lot of niggas doing it, you know what I'm saying? And, and it's sad to say, you know what I'm saying? Scooter ain't put no money behind me, bro, but he supported me, bro. And to be honest with y'all and every person out there, if it weren't for Scooter, I probably wouldn't be where I am in this music business, you know what I'm saying? Because I got my buzz off this song, Can't Lie With Future, and, and it built up from Scooter, you know what I'm saying? And they ain't put no money behind me, but more than money, a lot of times it ain't about the money, it's about the support, you know what I'm saying? Get your own money, you know what I'm saying? I believe, personally, every man should go get their own paperwork, period. Go get their own money, period, you know what I'm saying? And use your own money and put it behind yourself. Ain't no sense you're going to go do no music if you can't put no money behind you. And you're going to be looking for a handout and you're going to end up signing a contract that you ain't going to be able to get out of if you got talent. Go get the money and then spend the money on the talent, you know what I'm saying? And use all the sources. So, Scooter, that my dog, man. That my heart. I love him to death, you know what I'm saying? No matter what he got going on or who he with or who against him, I'm always with him. And I'm, I ain't going to never forget what he did for me. What's the biggest advice or most important thing you learn from working with Future? The biggest advice, because due to the fact that I'm hot right now and people seeing this shit, like people seeing that I'm nits in this industry, you know what I'm saying? And, it, and, it, and you know, the sky's the limit for me. And people see that I'm finna be this big dude. And man, Future, we sit down a lot, you know what I'm saying? Future, Future, man, Future talk like, Every day, like brothers, like like me and school, me and Future talk more than me and Scooter. That's crazy, you know what I'm saying? Me and Future talk every day. He called me sound eight o'clock in the morning. I love you, little bro. What you doing? You know what I'm saying? We sat down before this shit popped off, and we got to know each other. You know what I'm saying? The reason why he fucked with me so hard because he know me. You know what I'm saying? The reason why my fans fucking with me so hard, why well, my supporters fucking with me so hard, is because they know me and they they support. They ain't they ain't gotta like my music because get what I, did my first mixtape, you know what I'm saying? And, and I ain't really had that much music got, and people was booking me for sure due to the fact they know who the person I am, you know what I'm saying? And he sat down with me, and we had a conversation, and people seen me get a lot of money, and they see me with Future, and you know, that's really big to them people, and, and a lot of people like expecting shit out of me, like my mom, like my sisters, and people around the neighborhood that I grew up with, old friends, trying to catch up with me and shit, he told me, sit down and told me like, bro, that shit come with the territory, little bro. You gotta learn to deal with that shit, bro, and don't let that shit get to you, bro, cause you gonna start hearing shit that that you don't wanna hear, that shit that gonna hurt your heart, you know what I'm saying? People gonna start saying that your sister out there and you up here, and they don't know that your sister don't wanna be nowhere. They don't know that your mama don't want that, that she wanna do that, and they look at you as a person to bring them out of that, which you can't bring a person out of something if they still got it in them. You know what I'm saying? And he sat down and taught me that and told me all this shit about that, man. And it made me feel better because it ain't too many people made it where we at. You know what I'm saying? Made millions of dollars. Everybody don't make a million dollars. You know what I'm saying? And he one of the persons that made it. And it's good to be next to a person like him that, that's been through the things that I'm finna go through. And now that I'm going through it, he told me the shit that I was going to go through. So now when I go through it, I know that this shit come with it, you know what I'm saying? That's the biggest advice I got for Future, man. I love him to death, man. Free band guy. Now, what about Scooter? What's the biggest advice or most important thing you picked up working with Scooter? Let me see. The biggest advice I got for Scooter. You know, Scooter, you know, Scooter got down Scooter, man. You know, 
Scooter gonna get him money, he gonna got them have fun, he gonna live his life, bro. But the biggest thing I got from Scooter, man, I was trying to think. The biggest advice I got from Scooter. The biggest advice I got from Scooter, you know what I'm saying? Like, I followed Scooter. I followed out of Scooter to get down because I wanted to, I wanted to, the, 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 how could I put it? I wanted to go behind somebody that did this rap shit before I do it, you know what I'm saying? And I followed behind him, and I told him, like, bro, if you don't think it's a good idea, don't goddamn have me doing it, bro. And he told me, like, when I put the shit together with Future, you know, I don't really do that type of shit that I did. And the jury, you know what I'm saying? He told me, like, the jury was going to gain you a lot of fans. And people don't know this, but when I first met Future, the reason why we even started conversating was about this jury. You know what I'm saying? And the dude, school told me, boy, go buy you some jury, boy, go buy you some jury. And I ain't know that. Like, you know, that shit don't mean nothing to me. I really don't even like wearing this shit. I got a half a million dollars over this shit. And I don't even, well, man, DJ Smile at me today, where the hell your big piece at? You know what I'm saying? I don't, that shit don't do nothing for me. Like, I don't care nothing about that shit. But he told me, like, everybody else care about that shit. You know what I'm saying? The fans care about jewelry, cars, clothes, the hoes. Like, I don't care nothing about that shit. And the biggest advice he ever gave me was to go buy me some jewelry. Because I got the damn jewelry, and I was able to talk the future. And that made me different from everybody in the room. Because ain't nobody in the room could pay $60,000 for that chain that I had bought. And nobody in the room was able to pay $30,000 for his wish piece. Nobody in the room was able to buy half a million dollars for jewelry from Eliante, the top jeweler in the country. Nobody was able to do that. So that made me different from the people that was around him. That made me be able to talk to him and be on this level. That made me be able to get visual with him. Because don't no nigga want to be with no other nigga that ain't got shit, ain't trying to do shit, and ain't about shit. The biggest advice I ever got from Scooter was to get me some jewelry, man. Shout out to Scooter, man. BMG.